It is a privilege to be licensed in Virginia at any level, but particularly at the superintendent's level, it is not a right. This board has the authority under the constitution and we have uh, adopted regulations to guide that authority and section uh, 750 of our uh, administrative code 20-23750 uh, uh, does list um, a number of conditions that can allow for denial over and above uh, the option for um, terms that have been discussed. And the one that I think is applicable here is other good and just cause in the best interests of the public schools of the Commonwealth of Virginia. It does not reflect well on the public schools of Virginia. It does not serve the school children of Virginia well to have somebody who posts not one, not two, but numerous racially bigoted offensive Facebook pages. Obviously, among other things, if these, if these uh, posts are accurate and true, uh, just reflect a significant lack of judgment about the about communications and what a what a public uh, officials roles uh, role in the world would be. Um, and these were not at a time when he was totally a private citizen. They were at a time when he was serving in a public leadership role in another county. So they these give me sufficient pause that if if true, I cannot vote to place his name on the superintendent's list. It, uh, it is just a road too far to get my vote. Were I on a local board, I would consider these Facebook posts a disqualification. Um, if true, therefore, I think it's up to the local board to vet uh, because I, personally, I would find them a disqualification. There are many, many issues here. Chief of them, I think, is just as alluded to, a deeply divided board and community that is sadly clearly hurting. Um, from which members of the community, of that community, who are also members of the Citizenship of Commonwealth, had the opportunity and are welcome to come here and share their views on all sides and be heard by this board. This board operates in accordance with its authority and its limits on authority. The role of federal and, and state government is and should be limited because local control is essential to empower local residents to elect a point or unelect and unappoint its own leaders. I am a very strong supporter of local control and citizens of localities do have recourse. Their recourse is to elect and then unelect leaders. This board does operate within its guidelines. Option four is an option, very different than the road I followed to get my superintendent's license, but it is an option. And this board may revisit its guidelines but if to do so it would have to happen within the processes of this board, which would take some time, cannot happen today. Last month, I, again, the, the, the will of this board, I think was very wise uh, to put a pause and to ensure that our guidelines for option four were being followed, specifically with local board action. Um, the local board did act. It was a divided vote, but boards regularly have divided votes. From a governance perspective, this board is not and should not become an appellate process for divided votes on local school boards. If we did that, that's all we would ever do. Um, again, I have a soups license and I know hundreds of others who do, who in my opinion would be very well qualified by training, preparation, but also by virtue of being good role models. I encourage all local boards to consider the hundreds of people that are on the lists and, and consider them an excellent. Uh, candidates for superintendent. In my opinion, election superintendent was already in place. In my opinion, local boards are duty bound to vet all candidates for all positions to select role models with experience and expertise. In my opinion, a local board with access to hundreds of qualified candidates to select from should vet their candidates and review their social media posts and select a candidate who unifies. In my opinion, soups I know would be reluctant to serve in a division appointed by a deeply divided board because they should seek to unify. My opinions, however, are secondary. My oath of office to this board as a member of a governance perspective, the authority in this board is not in individuals. It is in the body corporate at this meeting. And so awarding a license according to our guidelines, especially after ensuring that our guidelines were followed last month, is us doing what we say we will do. Citizens of locality do have recourse. They have recourse by electing and unelecting.